Hello there, how are you doing? Welcome back to Blocks Pile. I am back with another lit video and I'm sure you'll enjoy this. So guys, in today's video we are going to discuss 5 best games like Call of Duty, Vanguard, and Roblox. Are you guys excited? So let's get started. So keep up with me till the end, comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't, and turn on the post notifications for more videos. Call of Duty Vanguard is known for its exciting and thrilling first person shooter experience. Roblox has several games that offer players the same experience, albeit with less realism. Call of Duty brought about new advancements in the genre and has been a public favorite, and it is the only duty call that gamers take very seriously. Surprisingly, Roblox has players covered with that one as well. Roblox games like Arsenal and Unit 1968 are similar to Call of Duty Vanguard. Number 5. Arsenal Arsenal is a first-person shooter game FPS, and has been a favorite for many. More specifically, it has seen almost 2 billion visits and 5 million favorites. The title revolves around the objective of defeating other users or teams and getting more kills depending on the game mode, which includes standard competitive, randomizer, gun rotation, railgun royale, and concussion mania. Gamers gain more experience by increasing the number of kills. The more they kill, the richer they get, which means more access to weapons, melee, and character skins. The Roblox game gives players a thrill and helps them unwind on a field by shooting their opponents without thinking twice. It also works for kids. Number 4. Bad Business Bad Business is a first-person shooter heavily inspired by modern warfare. If users relish thrilling experiences involving three-piece suits and weapons that they can keep track of, this will be a favorite. This title pits gamers against each other in an increasingly fast-paced 10v10 combat across arenas to give them the complete feel. It continuously allows them to change their strategies, and new equipment has them dying to try it. There are only three game modes in this one, mainly Kill Confirmed, King of the Hill, and Deathmatch. The game continuously keeps players on their toes. Every time someone spawns, they barely have a few seconds to load and secure before it launches into an exciting commotion. One can attack or be attacked in any given minute, but that is what makes bad business so good. Number 3. Unit 1968 This game on Roblox is based on events from the Vietnam War and is gripping in unimaginable ways. Users can be American soldiers with American-based weapons and ammunition, or they can play Vietnamese soldiers and have Vietnamese-based weapons. The title has three classes. Assault is the most common class on the battlefield. The weapons used here are made up of rifles and shotguns. The second class is called the sharpshooter, where where people primarily use snipers. Lastly, support classes generally use machine guns and heavy ammo. Number 2. Phantom Forces Phantom Forces is a first-person shooter game heavily inspired by MW and Battlefield, but easily accessible on Roblox. Gamers have to be very thorough and develop an understanding of the field geography, weapons, and their functions, movements, and strategic systems involved in the game. The games in this are fast-paced and keep users engaged and buzzing with thrill. The battles take place in 13 different locations filled with ever-expanding weapon choices. The title has a rip-roaring seven modes that players can enjoy. Number 1. Energy Assault This FPS game has six Six game modes, 15 maps, 36 guns, 8 kill mastery skins, 7 attachments, 2 game phases, and 26 badges. The 6 game modes available in Energy Assault by Roblox are 1. Team Deathmatch 1 point is awarded for each kill, and the side with the most points at the end wins. 2. Domination There are 3 objectives on the map provided. Players get 1 point every 3 seconds for controlling the objective and 100 XP for neutralizing it. 3. Hill Control Controlling the hill every second awards users with one point. The team with the most points wins. 4. Artifact A point is awarded to the team for every second that one holds the artifact in possession. FFA Free for all. No teams. The player with the right amount of kills wins. Considered to be the highest mode to win. 6. CTF A point is awarded each time gamers capture the enemy flag and return it to theirs. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can that really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video. Hope you liked the video.